video, we're going to load a existing 5MF file, edit it for your own uses, and then upload it to our stick and including uh, storing it on a stick for future use. So the first step here is I'm going to hit on the folder button and I'm going to then open up nsender1.5mf. And this program takes the environment hat and uses it to read the temperature, humidity, and pressure, assemble that into a message, and then send that message off to another device. This may not work with uh, across the internet, but I'm going to try that out. So the one section that you must finish out is you have to put in your Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. This will be stored on the device. I'm not going to put that in on mine because I don't want to share that data. I then have a connection indicator dot. This is a simple circle. If I set the color to blue, to green, it's going to set the thing to red. It's then going to check while the internet's not connected. It's going to do a Wi-Fi reconnect. Once it's connected, it's going to set the color to green. Then we fill in our labels with the data from our hat. We do have to do some manipulation here. So I grab the temperature. I multiply that one by 1 1.8, then add 32, convert it to degrees Fahrenheit, and then I add degrees F, although the degree symbol does not show properly because it's not in the font. Add in humidity. I take and round that humidity to a single digits and add a percent sign. And then pressure, I take and do it because it's in Pascal's. I want to convert to atmosphere, so I can divide by 101.35 and then add a dot zero dot there so that we have a rounding to your nearest Pascal. I then take and send API, API key, and this is the API key for the device that I'm on the receiving end. And I convert this whole thing to a big long string that has commas between it. And then print that message into the message label so we can see it and then wait five seconds before I send again. So once that's all set up and written in, you'll take and I often hit the refresh button to make sure I'm connected. Watch for this to turn, this might take a try. And then I can hit the play button. And on the device, I should see it try to load. Now it's going to give me an error currently because the AMV app is not currently loaded. That's not a huge deal. On yours, you'd have the NV hat plugged in, and it should load properly, and then start trying to send data. To load this into the memory of the device, we can use the download button. Download is not what you think. Save saves a local copy, but download puts it onto the device. You'll get a screen that says downloading, and it will load everything into the stick, and that will be accessible through the program's through the apps menu on the bootloader. It will boot into there by default. To get back to cloud, you will have to interrupt the bootloader and go to the um, settings tab and then go to cloud and select cloud and that will boot back in there. 